We are just so excited about this next segment because it means spring is right around the corner. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. The annual Connecticut Flower and Garden Show starts Thursday at the Connecticut Convention Center right in Hartford. Joining us now is Nancy DeBruel Clemente, author, horticulturist, and owner of Nature Works Horticulture Services in Northford. Thank you so much for being Thank with you. us. I'm thrilled to and be here. And we're so, so happy you brought fun. spring right into uh, our I, studio. I you know, it just makes us feel happy even seeing all this. I picked this bouquet in my garden this morning. No you way. Did? This is a witch hazel. It's blooming outside. This is witch hazel? Take a whiff. Like I the thing that we use in toners for yeah, our skin? Yeah. And it was in full bloom. This is also witch hazel, pussy willows. See, I would have thought it was forsythia. No, I know everybody thinks that, but no, you can smell it. When you, you walk yeah. into the flower show, there's so many forest trees and there's so many forest witch hazels. This is what you're going to smell. It's like a spicy, beautiful But this smell. was growing yellow outside? Oh, it's been in bloom for a week. This you one, this purple kidding. one's been in bloom for two weeks. They're winter bloomers. Wow. wow. So before the forsythia, you can get witch hazel. Yes, okay. Absolutely. And so, you know, for, for people like Scott and I who are just... Um, Brown Not thumbed. plant informed. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, gotta, I don't have a green so, um, th We're going to learn so many things. Like, this is actually a trend that people are probably seeing in their social media feeds a lot. This is an air plant. It is an air plant. Watch this. Look at that. What so, it does have a root system. It, it, it's moss. Uh, moss. They grow up in trees where, in the, in the tropics, they'll grow like in the crotch of a tree where all the debris falls. Okay. But we buy them in and then we just soak them once a week in like a tray with some moss in it and mist it. Okay. And that's all you have to do. So they need water, but they don't need soil. Right. You can glue them. You can uh, make wreaths out of them. You can put them in your, you know, they don't need a lot of light. They just need an occasional misting. And you can make them look like Medusa, right. like exactly. you did. Exactly. Like you know, and it is a plant, but you can, you know, like you can say, well, I'll just, I'll just put it in this pot, you see. <laughs> so you're <laughs> you know, going to be doing wearing... free demonstrations and free... Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to be giving a couple of classes. There's going to be over 80 hours of workshops at the flower show. Wow. Two of them will be Mine. Okay. And um, it, your, your, the workshops are free with your ticket to go in. So it starts amazing. tomorrow. Look at how beautiful There's gardens. This is. There's more gardens this year. I've been doing this show for a really long time, and I walked the show a couple of days beforehand and watched this happen. There's more gardens than there's ever been. It's going to be so beautiful. Oh, there's that's... tons and tons of vendors. My, I have a retail booth. We are right across from Federated, where all the flower arranging, arranging is. It's just, it just you go there and you're like, ah. Spring, it's you know, it's like you get this like kickstart oh, to spring. I love that when people do the little pavers in the grass. And I love you that. have to go. I mean, it's just everybody has to go. I tell everybody this is like after this, it's just a mere twenty days till spring. But everybody can oh. get your spring fever on, you know. Only twenty days. Yeah. So what what are the trends right now? Well, house plants are in. Okay. I, I went to school in the seventies. House plants were in, then they went away, and now they are back big time. Okay. So like this is like a ZZ plant. Yep. And it's so easy to grow. It doesn't need a lot of light. This is a Swiss cheese plant, and um, it is not full of holes because it has bugs. It's naturally grows this way. And they call that a Swiss cheese plant. Yeah, Isn't yeah. That funny? Swiss That's cheese. so funny. Um, this is a bird's nest fern. This is a new groovy plant. Looks like a little it, it, nest. If you have no talent growing a plant, is this is this a place that I'm going to learn? We, oh, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. There's so many people with plants that will talk to you until you're you at until you're green in the right. green in the roots. We 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 <laughs> man our booth with people in the aisles answering questions. There's people in the federated from all these different organizations that will answer questions. Okay. It is a place to go, you know. This I mean, is these so are pretty. This and is, I think this people shy a, away because we just don't know and then oh. you don't want to invest in something that you think you're going to ah, not take care of it, very well. If you haven't killed a plant, you're just not a gardener, you know. Yeah. This is a pea vine. Look at that. It's That's a succulent. Beautiful. Looks so like pretty. little peas. It's and you not... put it in a little teacup. So yeah, nice. well, these are just little is tiny this pots. Is this Am I getting No, it? this is a begonia. This is a this Rex is a begonia. begonia. Oh, I love, I have a bunch of I love of all the have. colors Yeah, in they it. come in all different colors. This is actually a pretty good low light plant. Wow, that's awesome. And this awesome. one's called, wait for it, an arrowhead plant. Can you see why? Yeah, this is another yeah. very, this, if you were going to start with one plant on this table, I would either start with this or with this or with a succulent. Okay. Right. This well, is, this is a succulent. You see how it the juice in there? The Connecticut Flower and Garden Show begins Thursday and runs through Sunday. Get all the info at ctflowershow.com. Thank you so much, Nancy. Yeah. Well, you know, thank you. I hope you come. I hope I see you there. <laughs>